Okay, very good. Speaking with uh, Corey Rowe from uh, Moose FM and Elliott Lake. Corey, uh, congratulations on your RTD DNA award. Thank you very much. For reporting of the uh, Elliott Lake tragedy. A uh, huge story, uh, big story in, in any market, but you're a small market with limited resources. Um, what, do you remember what, how it was when the story broke, when you first got wind, something had happened there? Yeah, I remember it clearly. I was out on the lake enjoying a wonderful sunny weekend with friends, and when I came back to my house and got back onto the online world, I could immediately see there was a problem in town and connected with my coworkers, and we just jumped on the story right from that point. And from there, it was, it was 20, days and days. It was seven full days of, I ended up, I lived, at the time, lived a long way away from the town, like a half hour, and I couldn't, I couldn't go home. I had to stay at the station so that I could be there, because every moment when you think you'd get a break, and something new happened, something developed, something changed, and because I was the one reporter, then I had to stay close, so I stayed at a friend's house, I got, you know, three or four hours sleep at the most every night. What did you hear from people in the community about what you were doing? We became the trusted source for the community because the large market media um, swoops in and out of a small town like that and they're looking for, you know, if it bleeds, it leads, the quick story, the sensational thing. And we had to be very careful about sticking to the facts and staying out of the sens sensationalization, staying out of the gossip and just reporting only what was what we knew to be true. And by doing that, we gained over time. You know, at first we were just the, you know, the local radio station, but we did become the trusted resource and we learned that from our community. They told us that and we, our Facebook page, I mean, everybody started saying, listen to the moose, listen to the moose out on the streets. They were saying, listen to the moose, they're the only ones telling us what's really going on. Yeah, it was incredible. And finally, what would be your, your, uh, your thoughts, your advice to someone uh, new to the business thinking about, I wonder if I could do news in the small market, I wonder if I could handle that kind of thing. Well, I would say the same thing that my news director told me when I first started dabbling in news, and that was that you remember that you live and work in that community every day. The people that you are reporting for and sometimes about are the people you'll run into at the grocery store that you play ball with on the weekends. And so you better make sure that what you're reporting is done with integrity and it's factual and then you can always stand because people always get angry when you have to tell a story about them but as long as it's true then you're good you can stand by what you say Corey thank you you're welcome